Alright guys, welcome to the first adult temple, the forest temple, and I'm sorry if I annoyed anyone from last time just completely cutting it off there. I kind of wanted to do that. So, the first thing you want to do is never, or uh, I don't know if I should say never, right? No, I should say always, always come this way, because there's this one thing right here that we're about to get is always going to just annoy you if you don't get it. As a kid, this was the one thing I always missed in this temple, and it always annoyed me. It took me a while before I finally, like, almost completely... I made it to the point where I've almost completely perfected this game, where I know everything about the game. As in, where I know where everything is. I don't know, like, all the trivia and stuff about this game. That's what I mean. And once I can finally learn the hook shot slowly... Holy crap, this is gonna be... Alright. I should mention... I always have to remind everyone that the fact that I suck with the hook shot right now is because this... this Joystick is just complete crap. But anyways, right here, we want to get the very first key right in the first room. Never forget this. this oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no. That was a mistake. There's some wolfos there, but we're going to skip them because we're about to die. Good. And if this sculpture like, could drop a heart or two, that would be perfect. Yeah, he dropped three. Screw you, everything that's trying to kill me. This temple right here is a temple that I always kills me. I Sometimes I try to go for like a perfect run without dying with three hearts. This temple always kills me. I don't know why, I'm just really bad at this temple. And when I say bad at the temple, I mean like bad at fighting some of the enemies in it. I don't mean like bad as in uh, forgetting where some keys are or something like that. I just mean bad as in the enemies just screw me over. But anyways, yeah, this right here, we're gonna have to really relay, relight some of these lights, or all of them to be exact. So that's what we're gonna do. But first, we wanna go straight up here. What's behind door number one? Apparently, something new. Blue bubble. Again, guard against its blue flame with your shield. Seems simple enough. Alright, and I guess we have to kill it now. Die. No foe, die. Thank you. Just drop it. Oh, apparently, I have, a, I have an earring. That's cool. Puberty. It's all. And this is one of the rooms that I struggle with. Fighting against two Stalfos here, these things do a, a tremendous amount of damage, it's just ridiculous. One jump attack, I believe, takes two full hearts from you. And yeah, because right now I just hook a complete... If I take a jump a jump attack to the face right now, I'd lose. Game over, GG. So this is why Deku Nuts are always an essential... Oh, that almost killed me. Alright, three jump attacks from us. Are you gonna drop anything? No? Crap. Oh, come on. Oh! I'm trying to be as careful as I possibly can. And I'm trying not to completely waste all my... Thank you. Come on. Jump attack. Come on, come on. Oh, one jump attack will kill me right here, so... Oh! Wow, I thought I got him. Thought I got him. Come on, jump at me. Jump at me. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Ooh. There we go. That was pretty close. So yeah, once they hit you once with their like normal sword attack, that will take one heart. And then if they jump attack you, and for some reason they always manage to at least hit you once with the jump attack, then you're screwed and you die. So, gotta be pretty careful. Luckily I know that there's a fairy here and... Please, oh, I, really want, I really need some Deku Nuts because those like Stalfo guys are here frequently. So we need some more health. Basically, <laughs> this temple knows that if you try and come here with three hearts, it's going to screw you over as much as possible. There's a gold, gold sculpture right there. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm not going to bother anyone with sculptures at all. Don't need them. So I'm not going to bother with them. That's locked right there. So let's come over here. Ugh, I can't believe I almost died. Again. This is where the game gets real now. Ah. Uh, what was it? I don't know the song. Uh, it's the song of time. I, I always forget the songs. I'm so bad at remembering these songs. It's just amazing how <laughs> stupid I am. Okay, I know. It's uh, left A down. What's my left key? I will find out soon enough. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. That's my left key. Ah, the left. Alright, so basically you can put the play the song of time in any in front of any of these blue blocks and it'll go away. So that's a little something nice to know, something very useful. Alright, so apparently there's also these giant 
things here. We want to kill these. I actually want to kill these while they're down. Now, if you kill them while their stem is, like, sticking completely upward, you'll get sticks. But if you kill them like this, you'll get Deku Nuts. And we want Deku Nuts, because they're going to be useful for fighting stout foes. And we can just ignore him. Alright, this part is really annoying as well. I believe if you have bomb chews, which we actually have not gotten yet, you can make this a bit more bearable. But for now, we just have to go... Our hookshot has really mediocre range as a hookshot. For a hookshot, I should say. It, it won't be able to reach this skull, Tula Skulltula, whatever you want to call it right now. But we just have to trick it. It's going to hit us, it's going to hit us. Okay, good. We made it. That's close. That can be a pain if you get hit by the skull so while you're all the way up there. Uh, thank you. Alright. I believe you can get up to four keys, maybe three, before you go any further into the dungeon itself, temple. I said temple, I didn't say dungeon. <laughs> Alright. And we get the map. It's alright. We've never played this game. I don't know who how many people have actually never played this game. I'm amazed I'm still amazed to this day when some people say they've never played Ocarina of Time before. I don't know. Like I guess I could see how like you just weren't playing interested in it. I don't know. This is just one of my this is probably one of my favorite, if not favorite game. And I guess it's just that stupidity about people that say, Oh, it's my favorite game. Why haven't you played this? Oh blah 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 blah. Stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just done with that. Oh, Get away from me, get away from me. And I believe there's a- ow. Um, let's see, can I get that? What's my up- Damn it, don't wanna waste those. Uh, I can't reach that, we'll sc screw it for now. You can play the Scarecrow song right there, but I don't know if we're actually in range of it. Alright, good. Well, it doesn't matter, because there's recovery hearts down here, so we're gonna get these. Or, not these, we're just gonna get one. Thank you. And I think I have all the keys I need. I don't. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I say I'm not bad at remembering how many keys and stuff are in the dungeons, but I'm just like asking right now. Uh, I believe it's three. Might be four. Might be. All right. So that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can backtrack if need be. That's that's what Zelda is all about. Backtracking a million and five times. But it looks like I got all of them. All right. I could kill this thing for some more. Yeah, it's shut off. We can get sticks. Wow, that's sticks. Give me the stick. I, even, I don't know why I'm getting the stick. I can't even use them. I can't even get the stick. Wow. It was teasing me. Damn it. Can't even use sticks as an adult, so whatever. Although, as a kid. No, we'll just leave it like, we'll just leave it like that. Alright. We have all the keys we need now. So where is the first place to go? I think it's right here? Yeah, it is. There's that locked door. It's, it's asking for a bruising. Let's go in. Hello, Mr. Skull. These skull chills are now so useless because you can hit their skull face with the hookshot and just makes them completely useless. And, yeah. Alright. Hello, Bubba. We'll just ignore you because why not? Okay, in the... You can see how bad this controller is, apparently. Uh, whatever. It lets me still play it on the computer, so it's still pretty awesome, so why not? And now, the famous listen from Navi. You know, you'd think as an adult she'd stop doing that, but nope. Yeah, there are arrows down here on the floor, but again, this is on an emulator, so... For some reason, the Project 64 doesn't really show some of the stuff, graphic-wise, that's on the floor. Like, sometimes when you're on the field, it doesn't show the floor itself, so that's weird, but whatever. If you're playing this for the first time, don't do it on an emulator because it could confuse you. Especially if you're going for 100%, do not do this on an emulator. I advise against it, because it'll make it close to impossible, so, yeah. Alright, we push that. I mean, I believe you can come over here, yeah, okay, good. It's all good, like this, you can do this. Uh, let's see, there's an arrow right there. So, now you could go up and keep going forward, but I suggest you come by these arrows. Or, these arrows, these ladders right here. This could make it a bit more simpler. Alright, so let's go, and let's see, I believe there's one right here that we can push right now. This will make it a lot easier if you come here and just start pushing this right now, because if you go 
first from the block and you start pulling, you'll have to pull instead of pushing, you get stuck in a wall and you're gonna have to come this way anyways. So if you do this right now, it'll save you a lot of time. Alright, speed running tactics. Uh, like, I, I think I've said this before, I would love to one day speed run this game, but... I think I have to come this way. But I'm just not good enough at this game to do some of the glitches. I think I've only mastered like one glitch as in this game. Maybe two glitches, I can't 100% recall. But how it'd be awesome to speedrun this game. But that's all wishful thinking now. Let's just keep doing this for the medallions. Now I think for most of the episodes that I've ever done for this let's play, they've been around 10-ish, 15-ish minutes. I'm gonna just try and go for the entire temple. Um, I think the temples are short enough for me to do them, or at least I know the temples well enough to make them short and not get uh, lost a million times or get stuck by ladders, apparently. Alright. We're getting actually close to the part that's, like, super annoying with this controller. Alright, let's go. I haven't gone this far in the emulator, but with this controller, I should advise that some of the bosses might go terribly, terribly long. Like, the boss for this temple is probably going to kill me. I can almost assure you that I'm going to die here. In this boss. Damn it, Navi! For freak's sake, shut up! I completely forgot she's going to say listen and all that in this part. So, there's our last key. Keep in mind that painting right there. Alright, we're, we're coming to the mini boss. And the mini boss is in this area, could be kind of annoying. Luckily, I have a fairy on me. Alright, so you do not want to fall down there. It is highly advised. Alright. Alright, luckily you can just get by their defenses. Like so. I'm gonna try... I'm trying to do a spin attack, there we go. Well, it did nothing, but... You know, I did it. Oh damn it, I meant to jump attack. This first beginning part of the boss, mini boss fight is annoying because you can't go into the middle so you have to stay really defensive a lot of the time. And he can't fall down. There we go. Alright, now for the mini boss. You're going to be fighting two Stalfos at the same time again, but the only twist to this is... When you kill one, if you don't kill the second one fast enough, it will respawn. So a tactic that I go with this is alternate between them. This guy's not even defending against me. I've hit him in twice already, so we'll go for this guy. Just keep alternating between them. And you should be fine. I probably should have done this actually last time. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, holy crap. Oh! I panicked. I panicked. Oh, no. Well, there's my first... I guess you could count that as death. I, I don't count it as game over death, though. I panicked. Once he jump attacked me, I tried to run away, but he just slashed me. Major slowdown right there. Come on, come on. Come on. This corpse is still there. Ow. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to do this again. Thank you. Well, um, yeah, I almost died there. Well, I did die. I died. I did die there once. So there goes my perfect run for this. I panicked so terribly that I just completely failed. Flopped that over completely. I don't know if there's a fairy in one of these, but I know that there's a bunch of hearts because, you know, this is just brutal. Oh, <laughs> uh, how did I die? I don't know. If you've done this one run, or three heart run thing, and you don't die at all, Props to you. I'm not that great at this game. <laughs> then again, this controller does not help, but, you know, I keep complaining about that, but it's just how this, this controller does not help me at all. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but we get the sling, sling the fairy bow, the bow and arrow, basically, what, my, probably my favorite item in the entire game. Let's just be honest, it's just amazing like that. Alright, so we want to go, actually, let's go this way. I can't believe I died. Alright, so, basically, alright, just basically want to make him go away, 
And you can hit these poster things with your arrow. Like so. Like so. Thank you. Hit all three of them, and then we get one of the pose from the very beginning of the temple. Uh, and actually, looking at it, I probably won't get past the temple in one episode. That isn't incredibly long. Now, you basically, what you want to do, and I, it took me a while before I actually learned this, do not Z-target them, because then they'll start fighting you. Because we don't want the enemy to fight us. Um, just, like, wait until they pop back up. They won't do anything at all. Just then, you just, then you can just Z-target, not z target Wow, I'm confusing everything. Just do what I'm doing. Just use your arrows from a distance. They will not... For some reason, this is just stupid AI right here, in my opinion. Five arrows, I believe, kills them. You can do this without getting a single hit in from them to you. Literally, they're not going to move if you do this. They will not move, except for when you knock them back with your arrows. They're not going to move at all. Which is funny, but, you know, it makes this easy as heck. Uh, that's fine. All I really want from that is arrows. And I forgot to do something. Ah, oh, I forgot to show off Bora's win where it could be really useful. Which kind of annoys me now. Because th this is what... In this temple, it's the second place where I use Bora's win. Where it's not the most useful, but it's actually time efficient, I would say. More than anything. But I completely forgot to set a warp spot. Which annoys me because it just does. Alright, so apparently the pose up here in this one, there we go, I'm amazed that did not hit the stairs for some reason, but there we go. Uh, I can already see how bad I can be with the bow and arrow in this uh, boss battle. Once we get to the boss battle, that is. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself by a lot, to be honest. Oh, I Z-target it. Alright, fine, I'll show off what happens when you Z-target. They'll basically fight back, really. But then you can get some nice attack combos like that. Really, you can't do a jump attack unless you're Z-targeting to them. Oh crap. I, I didn't think if you didn't Z-target them and then they wouldn't like spin attack you if you go in for like a sword attack. I didn't think they'd do that, but apparently they do. And even if when they're invisible, they're, they do that. Alright, so now let's just use an arrow. <laughs> the, the temple music itself is trying to get into the fighting music of this. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much that. Alright, let's do this. Let's get that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to, once I end this episode, to go get a, a fairy. So I'm probably going to do that. Because the boss is... You, you know, even if I have, like, a bunch of hearts, the boss is annoying for me. This is probably one of the hardest bosses for me. Alright. So let's get over here. Let's get over here. Hmm. Alright, well, this is where I want to show it off. See, if you... I'm gonna put a warp right here. Now, if I did this before, I could have just skipped some of that movement and just warped over here. That would have saved a little bit of time, but as you can tell, it's not that much. But I could—I still use it right now, even when I already do it. I'll show off how useful that can be. The most useful it can be, which is not that much, to be honest. And as you can tell, the warp's not here. I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. Oh boy. This temple is crazy, and we'll just jump down here. And, oh crap, oh crap, I... Okay, we want to get this, because this is the boss key, as I don't mean to use this. It's not here as a kid, or, er, as a kid, you can't get them in any of the temples as a kid. But you get the boss key, basically you need this to enter the dungeon, or the room with the boss in it. And for now, I think, yeah, you can hit the bubbles with your arrows. OP arrows. Just Z-target them, and... Like that, but I don't want to waste any more of my arrows where I can serve my arrowness. And now I want to get um, Din's fire because that can be useful in this next little part. Now let's go here. If you go, if you do this jumping thing right here, this skull tail at the very tip top end of that little like those two hearts right there, I'm not gonna risk it because I don't need the skull 
And because I can work for myself. Simple as that. Alright, ah, wrong way. Wrong way. And let's go here. I'm gonna fight a new enemy. An annoying heck enemy. <laughs> annoying as heck enemy. A floor master. When it splits, destroy all the pieces before they reunite. This is what I wanted. Oh, ouch. Didn't expect it to get me. Damn it. Alright. Go right here, and then they'll split up into three, but if you use Din's Fire quick enough right here, it should heal all three of the little hands. There you go. Nice little quick tidbit, or you could use like a spin attack, but I prefer Din's Fire because it hits them all, and even though Din's Fire costs more magic, you can uh, recuperate because they all drop, they always drop magic. So there we go. And here's another key that we need. Alright, so now I'm going to show off Forest Wind, what it does. Because you cast Forest Wind, and return to the warp point. But of course, every return we return right here. Um, apparently I left it in this room. I didn't mean to leave it here, but hey, whatever works. This actually works a lot better because we want to actually come here. So that's what it, it pretty much. You go back to where you left it. I thought I was gonna leave it in that other room where we were before, but it left it in a more convenient place to be honest. Because we have to come this way, so you know, it saves us going through that entire room where the uh, floor masters were, or a hand, whatever they're called, the masters. The darkness, I don't know. But basically, we want to come up here, and as you can tell, the room was like switch, switched back to like the reverted upside down way because that's where I left the work point. But for now, it's been 20 minutes. I think I will finish off the temple next time, so next time we're gonna hopefully go up against the boss and hopefully not die anymore because I died. I haven't gotten a game over yet, so that's good. So, until then.